The ancient city of Xanthos lies on the southern Aegean coast that is today known as Western Turkey. The ruins are the result of a transient history with evidence to suggest Lycian, Hellenic, Roman and Byzantine origin. Xanthos was once the most powerful city in the center of Lycia, located on the southern tip of the Xanthos Delta, on a hill of important strategic value. The Lycians were close to the ancient Greeks, but nevertheless lived in autonomous cities and were united by an alliance of cities, the Lycian League. Together they shared a shrine, the Latoon of Xanthos with the mother god Leto as the main deity. Their alphabet resembled that of the early Greeks, but their language was that of the Hittites. The political history of the Lycians is little known. When Rome finally took control of this region, the Lycian League declared its independence. In 43 AD, the independent state of Lycia ended with the foundation of the Roman province of the same name. During the course of history, Xanthos was destroyed more than once, yet it was rebuilt to its former glory. However, a number of its treasures are missing. In the 19th century, the British removed numerous sculptures which are now exhibited in the British Museum. The temple area of Latoon is also an important cultural monument, with its main shrine of Leto, mother of Apollo and Artemis. According to legend, she arrived at this place following the birth of her god children. The base of the pillars and mosaic ruins of her three temples are still visible. However, the death cult, to which there are no parallels in Greek culture, is particularly remarkable. Stone inscriptions document the origins of various Indo-European languages that were extended with the passage of time. Various graves and commemorative stones contribute to world cultural heritage. The area surrounding Xanthos is rich in monumental tombs.
At first, little was known of Lycian culture, such as the way in which their dead were always laid to rest at an elevated height. The astonishing legacy of this ancient people is its tombs. They are not only to be found cut into the rock of the mountainous terrain, but also beneath the sea. In 150 AD, a Roman theatre was built in the middle of the Lycian necropolis. A fact that today may seem a little strange to those who come here. The Lion Grave, Harpien Monument and the Neriden Monument are among the city's finest archaeological treasures, as well as an acropolis and the theatre. The impressive graveyard complex conceals numerous inscriptions that threaten punishment and curses in order to deter grave robbers. The eight meter high Harpien monument that dates back to 5 BC is the largest standing Lycian pillar grave whose name is often referred to in legend and is derived from a mythical bird-like demon. The location of the city was well chosen. The Eastern Valley widens out into a fertile area and a clear mountain river flows past the city. Its elevated location is a good vantage point, well situated to warn of an approaching enemy. The Harpien, each one a winged creature with a bird's body and a woman's head. In Lycian belief, she transported the dead to heaven. She wears small figures that look like human babies, and that most probably introduced the demised souls to the kingdom of the dead. In addition to Lycian and Greek ruins, there are also monuments that date back to Roman and Byzantine times, when Xanthos was the seat of bishops. It's difficult to believe that the city's brave inhabitants had to endure their city being destroyed twice while resisting their enemies. But the myth of Xanthos lives on.